Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my video. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how you could uh, print or display the console output of any Ansible playbooks. This is very helpful when you can, uh, or when you can, um, and when you want, when you can, and when you want to debug or uh, any issues that you are having with Ansible. So I'll show you how you could uh, display the console output in Ansible playbook. So this is the setup that I have. I got Ansible control node, and I'll have a bunch of um, managed host. These are already been set up, and the authentication and access part has been started. So without wasting much time, let's straight away go to the video and show you how you could display the console output. So I'm in my master node or uh, control node, and I I already have an inventory file that's set up, and this is the IP. So um, so to validate a few bunch of things, uh, I will just use from Ansible that of commands to see everything is all good. Mm. <clears throat> Post list. First of all, okay, for um, machines I'll be targeting, go uh, host all, I'll use ping. As you can see, we can ping to all these four machines. Now, what I want to do is, uh, let me create a folder for Ansible debug, and let me click call playbook. .yml. So if I um, go here and uh, let's say if I want to write a basic uh, playbook, uh, Ansible starts with uh, playbook starts with three dashes. One dash is going to be host. It's going to be all that we are targeting. Become is yes. Then task going to be um name let's say running a shell command uh we're gonna use shell module command gonna be you name hyphen a okay and if i run this uh do the full structure i mean the book if i go outside as you can see, um, I'm using playbook one, so Ansible. This is outside host, okay? Then playbook one. Oh, sorry, Ansible playbook. <clears throat> okay, you run a command, but you didn't get anything as an output. So oh, this might be a bit stressful for you, okay? And one more example that I would like to show is, um, let's say if I if I did this, um, okay. So we are just trying to get the kernel version, and when we ran this, Yeah, the cart, I know. Cart, I know. Tiny cart, okay. Now, just to run, just before running this command, let me get you free. If I get free of how set of it, we got host. So, Ansible hyphen playbook would be the command. Now, this is outside, so it's going to be outside. Then we're going to do playbook one. So it ran successfully, but we were not able to see anything. And this doesn't help because what we are trying to do here is we are trying to get the output of you name A. All right. So what we can do to overcome this is we can do register. 
and let's the result as an output all right and um what you can do now is have a debug printing so module is going to be debug and we're gonna do it as default dot st the out lines now if i run this Sorry for the typo. So, says if we run, we try to run this. All right, so as you can see, this is the that you are expecting, right? So, this will help you to overcome things that you need. Now, let's say if you want to do. Um, Please now you are able to get all the outputs in a fly. As you can see, then few more examples are this config. Now, mm, yes, you run this and get the output, and few more are let's see, you want to uh, go. Root. Two more examples are all right. This is the way that you could do it. And there is one more thing that you can always do. This is, is if you want to go further more in depth, you can use verbose mode. This is v1 or v0. Depending on the requirement, you can use this, then it will show you all of these. Now, um, now, let me show you what it actually is doing. You name it okay. If I run this playbook as V, as you can see, it will show you all these things. If you want to do a very high level 
purpose mode it will show each and every step so how it did it so that's that's all for now hopefully this tutorial helped you to uh display the console output or expected output if you get any further questions feel free to ask me that's all for now thank you